Well, Argentina has reached an agreement to pay U.S. hedge funds that have sought for 14 years to profit off the country's economic crisis. The hedge funds bought up Argentina's debt for bargain prices after its financial crisis, then demanded full repayment. Former Argentine President Cristina Fernández de Kirchner had refused to pay the firms, calling them vulture funds. But under the new right-wing president, Mauricio Macri, uh, Argentina has agreed to pay $4.65 billion to four hedge funds, including Elliott Management, run by billionaire Paul Singer. The deal would see the hedge funds take about 75 percent of what they demanded from Argentina, several times more than what they actually paid for the debt. Singer's fund itself netted $2.4 billion, 10 to 15 times its original investment. Paul Singer is the longtime Republican fundraiser who has endorsed Republican establishment favorite Marco Rubio in this election cycle. For more, we go to Los Angeles, where we're joined by journalist Greg Pallas, Puffin Foundation Fellow for Investigative Reporting, his recent article, Rubio's Billionaire Wins Ransom from Argentina. Greg Pallast, explain. Well, what happened is, is that Paul the Vulture Singer, who we've been—I've been following him for BBC and for Democracy now for about nine years. This is the guy who does—he's called the Vulture, not just by Argentina. He's known by that by his uh, friends in the banking industry. He grabs old debts of dying nations, dying companies, even dying people. And um, you know, when there's a famine or a war, for example, in Argentina, during the military dictatorship, uh, when Argentina went broke, um, he bought up old bonds for $50 million, just sold them back to the government of Argentina, a government he helped place in power for $2.5 billion. Um, and he does this, he did this through what the Argentine government and the United States Treasury call extortion. He says, if you don't pay me, I'm going to stop you from borrowing money, I'm going to choke your nation to death. He even seized a, a uh, Argentine naval ship on the high seas. I mean, he's, he's basically a privateer, a pirate. And uh, his, the, what's important about what's coming up in this election, the reason he influenced the Argentine election was to get a, a puppet president who would write him uh, a check which would give him a 10,000 percent profit. He's looking for the same in the United States. Paul the Vulture Singer is the number one donor to the Republican Party. Not the Kochs, by the way, Paul Singer. He's the number one donor to American Crossroads, run by um, Karl Rove, which is basically your racial vote suppression on an industrial scale operation. Um, so he is, why is he involved in the U.S. elections? Because during his attack on Argentina, the Secretary of State, working with the President, the Secretary of State sent her lawyers into a U.S. federal court and said, don't, uh, don't force Argentina to pay off this guy. Um, she tried to stop the, uh, the extortion on Argentina. And uh, the president joined her in the U.S. Justice Department. And she even said, her lawyer said, that Paul Singer's business model is a threat to the entire world financial order. This guy is, is like a kind of financial terrorist, actually. And that's what uh, Hillary Clinton accused him of. By the way, Bernie Sanders has taken a similar, very tough position against these vulture financiers. So Paul Singer, this issue of Argentina ain't just 11,000 miles away, Amy and Juan. It is coming home to roost, literally, because he's got to make sure that there is no Hillary president or, or President Bernie that will put him out of business. Hillary's action will probably cost him a half billion or a billion dollars, and he's going to—he wants blood, and he wants his guy in the White House, uh, which means anyone but Bernie, anyone but Hillary. Well, well uh, but, Greg, so why did he uh, come behind uh, Marco Rubio? Uh, because, I, I, obviously, well, obviously, in, in, in Donald Trump, uh, Trump is a candidate who's never seen a bankruptcy he didn't like. Uh, but uh, but what, uh, <laughs> what, on what basis did he go behind Rubio? Well, Rubio um, did his work for him. Rubio made an unethical, frankly, uh, uh, it horrified a lot of people, he made direct approaches to the State Department on behalf of his top donor. Uh, Paul the Vulture Singer is the number one donor to Marco Rubio. And Rubio uh, kept banging on the State Department to back uh, his uh, vulture donor against our ally Argentina. This is just way out of line, even in, in, a, in a country where uh, money talks. This was money screaming. Um, and uh, the other thing is that, uh, for example, uh, Rubio 
was a, was uh, trying to help Puerto Rico by um, allowing Puerto Rico to have bankruptcy rights like any other, like any American state, and then suddenly um, a, another vulture uh, financier, a friend of uh, Singer, uh, called Herrenstein, held a big fundraiser for Rubio. Rubio flipped around his position on Puerto Rico and said, "No, they shouldn't have any rights. They should t fire teachers and uh, and firemen and policemen and cut pensions uh, rather than cut." payments to vultures like Singer and Herrenstein and his donors. He literally flipped, literally within days of, of being funded by these guys. So, so Rubio showed that he's the perfect puppet. Now, do understand, I don't think they expect Rubio to pull it off at this point. That would be their dream. But, you know, they're, they're, you know, they're happy with a, with a Trump who is actually, you know, a member of the club. And they're happy with any Republican at this point, uh, mainly because both Democratic Party candidates have not only said that they don't that they're not going to do what Singer wants, but they might actually put him out of business, and that he is not going to tolerate. That's why he's backing Karl Rove and American Crossroads, because no matter who is there, he's got to make sure that the uh, that the if all if all the votes are counted and you count the Puerto Rican American vote in the United States, and you you know uh, if you count uh, the progressive vote and the uh, minority vote, uh, they can't win. So he's got to come up with other ways of doing it. That's so. So Singer is not just it's not just backing Rubio, it's backing the whole um, vote suppression machinery. Uh, that's being run by the Republican Party. I'm not being partisan. This, you know, I'm an investigative reporter. I've been following seconds, this guy Greg. for years around the planet. Greg, I want to thank okay. you very much uh, for being with us from L.A. Journalist and Puffin Foundation fellow for investigative reporting. His recent piece will link to Rubio's billionaire wins ransom from Argentina. And